Villalobos Rescue Center is responsible for over 400 dogs. Yes, we do have a couple of locations that are typical shelters, but a good majority of our dogs are kept in satellite locations where they're kept indoors. Another country dog. Come on, buddy. You ready? Give me a little one. Come here, Sanchez. You guys settle down back there. Get back with you. After I'm done with these, I'm gonna go out there and pick spots to build big kennels to get Hemi and Mustang out of that room. Okay. The new area that we've set up is going to be a place where we take a lot of the dogs that are stressed out in the typical kennel environment and put them over there. Come on, Bubba. Oh, he's shaking. He's, he's so scared. Okay. It's all right, Papa. You're gonna love this place. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. We decided to make this building more of like a home environment as much as possible. And so that's why we're trying to set them up with couches and, and chairs and recliners and, and the sitting area where, where they watch TV. He's scared. There he is. There he is. OK. There you go. And plus, I've started hiring new people. They have a routine. You know, the dogs go out for walks several times a day. We started putting big turnouts in the warehouse. And then we'll get the backyard area cleaned up so we'll have outdoor areas. Come on, let's go. So we are slowly adding dogs that are not doing well in a kennel environment over at the main warehouse and just acclimating them a couple at a time. We're going to bring your crate. Don't worry. Oh my god, Chester. <laughs> yeah, come on, Sanchez. Come on. We're putting so much work and love and passion back into this building. We wanted to make it fun. And so we came up with the name The Pitts Carlton. Oh my god. <laughs> you happy? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. Oh my god. That didn't take long. We're hoping to give these stressed out dogs that chance to decompress and, you know, start to try to live somewhat a normal life until we can get them a new home. Mm -hmm, thank you. like that gate that goes to the back gravel. One of our Villalobos employees, Sydney, told me that there was a dog tied up to our fence around 5 or 6 in the morning. Tim named her Cairo. Hi. Oh, Ooh, you are anxious. Yeah. She's really sweet. She's a little bit nervous. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, you're so sweet. I know. Oh. I know. Hi. As soon as we started walking up to Cairo's kennel, you could tell that that dog was insanely anxious, which honestly just broke my heart. Tim just walked up to her and put a leash on her and, and took her off, and she was fine. We did get it on the security camera. There was not one part of me that wanted to see that. I knew how bad it was going to be, and you could tell by the way that Cairo was acting that the footage was going to be heartbreaking. Oh, I see the car back there. He parked by the train tracks, and Tied her up. It's okay. It's okay. She's like she's strangling herself. And that's why I don't oh know my god. If where this came from at some point, if she had like a prong collar on. He carry, like he carries her back and then ties like, her up a second time. I know, I don't want to see this either. It's like sitting there talking to her. Kisses her on the head, which is the worst part about it. I know, I know, I know. I guarantee you she's super anxious because she got dumped and she doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm glad the dog's with us, but the fact that he thought he was doing the right thing by doing that, that's what hurts the most. Well, we have her. I think that people tend to pass judgment way too quickly, and that's what this job has taught me a lot about. I don't get to pass judgment on anybody when I don't even know the whole story. I wish that, yeah, he would have actually brought her to us so that she didn't have to go through that traumatic thing. <laughs> oh, slobber. <laughs> oh, no. Hi. That's insane. 
All that I do know is that the dog is safe and she's with us and we're gonna try and help her and hopefully calm some of that anxiety down. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go? Hey! <laughs> Hi! All right, crazy girl, you take her on a walk right now? Yeah, I'm gonna take her on a walk and get the slobber out of my eyeballs. <laughs> Tyra's been here a couple days, but her anxiety is still extremely through the roof. Come on, mamacita. It's OK. Find a spot. I decided to take Cairo out for a walk for a little bit just because she absolutely loves being around people. She's a really needy dog, and I actually kind of love that about her. That's a lot of blood. Mama, what's wrong? Oh, babe, are you OK? There's a million different things that could cause a dog to have bloody stool. It could be a dog eating bone, certain leaves that they're not supposed to, bad food. Come here, pretty girl. Cairo was just at the vet, and we made sure that she didn't have parasites, that there was nothing going on with her. So I decided to call my mom. Hello? Hey. Um, so I just had Cairo out. Do you remember what dog that is? That's the dog that was tied to the gate and then ran away, and then the owner brought her back. Oh, I just took her out on a walk. She's pooping out, like, just blood, like running blood. Oh, what a bummer. God. Come on, Mama. Cairo, come on. When managing a dog with high anxiety to the point where they start to physically destroy themselves. Come on, Mama. It is absolutely, in my opinion, the toughest behavior to cure. Yeah, she's like the last time she got him in a car, she was left here. Um, because there is no exact fix. You can try different things and hope they work. You're all right, baby. It's OK. Shh. It's OK. Come on, Mamacita. It's OK. So Mariah and I decided to move Cairo over to the Pitts Carlton. Oh, I'm pretty girl. And put her in a bedroom where it would just be quieter and, and stress-free. Come on, baby. You're OK. You're going to like it. When giving the building a makeover and renaming it the Pitts Carlton, we wanted it to be a happy place. And it was decided early on that it would be for dogs like Cairo, who just couldn't make it, you know, in gen pop. Some dogs do okay, and some dogs don't. Her anxiety is some of the worst that I've ever seen. It's so bad. Let's go, let's go look at her room, see? then. Let's go see her room, at least. Mm. Come on, baby. Is this going to be your room? Is this your room? In putting Cairo in her own room, there was still some anxiety, not as much. She's already happy, though. This is your room. You'll be fine. Dealing with anxiety and separation anxiety, it's, it's just a time thing. It's tough. All we can do is try different things and go the extra mile to try to help this dog out. That's all we can do. You'll be fine. You'll be fine.